Then, said Ashton after a pause, I will tell you a story. You may regard it as you wish. I can only say that it is true. Do you know what a witch ball is? Oh, yes, Blake responded. They're those big shiny glass balls that you sometimes see hanging up in antique shops. I remember years ago, there used to be a huge silver one hanging in a dark little shop window in Brighton Lanes with a quite lifelike effigy of a witch on a broomstick. I used to be rather scared of it as a kid. It's gone now. Yes, said Ashton, I remember it. People used to hang these witch balls in the windows of their homes, you know. They were supposed to avert the power of the evil eye. And in the occult, they had other uses. The occult, queried Brake. Do you believe in that? You know, I've always wondered if there was really anything in it. But the people I've met up to now who profess to be occultists, well, frankly, they haven't inspired much confidence. I not only believe in it, replied Ashton gravely, I think that experiences of what people call the occult or the supernormal are much commoner than is generally supposed. But those who have experience of such things hesitate to talk about them for fear of being classed as fools or impostors, and so a whole area of human life gets hidden behind a curtain, so to speak. That is what the word occult really means, you know. Hidden.